This video is all about the best moving hacks. So just this past weekend, I moved in to my very own first apartment. You'll see throughout this video, I am very much still in the moving process. I have boxes everywhere. But I am graduating college in the May, so for the last four years, I've been moving around pretty regularly. However, this move was different. Before I moved, I decided to go on websites and watch YouTube videos, go on Reddit and find all of the recommend, recommended moving hacks. And then this past weekend, I used those recommended moving hacks and found the ones that were actually really good. And today, I'm showing you those so that when you move, they can help you. Let's go. Okay, I'm in my closet right now to show you my first moving hack and this one was probably the best moving hack that I found in my research. I saw this on Pinterest before but this is my first time actually moving my clothes like this and it made life so much easier but I found some tips that made it even easier to get these bags over the clothes because it's actually kind of hard. So I'm actually going to deconstruct one of these bags and show you exactly how I did it. By the end of doing all my clothes, I got into quite the routine of it. So let me show you really quickly on how I bag these clothes. Okay, so there's a few things that you're gonna need to do this. One, a trash bag, and I don't wanna reuse, or I don't wanna use another trash bag, so I'm gonna try to reuse this one, but it has a rip in it, so hopefully it makes sense. But you will need a trash bag, and if I was to do this over again, I would get the large 45 gallon trash bags that are black. They fit way more clothes and I had to, I ran out of bags. So for my last one, I had to use it. You can see it right here. But it just would have made life a lot easier. These bags are tinier. The one that I used in all of mine were like the tall kitchen bag. I just got them at Target. Um, but yeah, I think a larger size trash bag would be better. And then a rubber band. These were crucial in this whole entire process because, well, I'll show you why right now. So I would do about 15 clothes in each trash bag. And I found that to kind of be the magic number for making sure that the trash bag doesn't rip or that it wasn't too heavy or you know anything else so what I would do is at first I would have my clothes hanging in my closet and then I would take my rubber band and I would kind of like close them together and then I take it off of the hanger and I would put the um, rubber band around it and I just got my rubber bands from Target they were like two dollars for a set of like 500 or something crazy and then I would bring the rubber band these clothes are actually kind of heavy <laughs> so I would bring the rubber band kind of to the, like the base of the hanger if I could and then I would put it back on the um, rod and then I would take my trash bag so envision that this trash bag is brand new I would like fluff it out since it was in the roll and then I would stick my or I, I did two ways. Okay, the first way would be that I would just, once the bag was like flat like this, I would just take the top and I would rip a hole in the center of it. Another way I did it, which there really isn't like a better way, I would just went back and forth, is I would just stick my hand through the bag and then like stick it, my hand all the way up through the center so that there would be a hole. Well, you're not you're supposed to be able to see my face right there. So that there would be a hole in the bag right there. And then... I would take it and I'd have my hand sticking through it so like my hand goes in through the top and I would grab the clothing I would put the hole into it okay so now it's into it and then I would put it back on the hanger and that is where I would actually go in and bring the trash bag down Some clothes are easier, like my shirts were way easier than my sweaters, just because sweaters are so much thicker. And then I, you can cinch it at the bottom. So I actually liked to make sure that all my clothes were inside. So I would take this over to my bed. I just lay it flat on my bed 
and then I would tie it at the bottom so that in the moving process, none of my clothes got dirty on the bottom. My plan is, is for all the bags that didn't rip because there was a ma majority of them didn't rip in the moving process, I'm actually going to save them for my next move so that I can reuse them because it's ridiculous to use 10 garbage bags every time I move. But that hack saved me so much time and it made it way easier. So my next tip is to have a open first box or you could use a trash can or in my case I use my hamper and in here you take this with you when you move and you put all of the necessities. So I did, I like staged this a little bit because all my stuff is put away, but I did paper towels, toilet paper, um, some scissors, just look how cute these scissors were. I did not use these because they would have got tape from the boxes on them, but cute, right? Crate and barrel if you're wondering. Um, pajamas, and then also like we did shampoo and conditioner, towels, and then toothbrush and toothpaste, and then I did makeup. Um, and I did an outfit for the next day. So that way like you can just make sure that you have everything in its place and that it doesn't get lost with movers. And if you have a box, you can write open first on it so then it makes it even more organized. The next tip is pretty standard and I feel like everyone would already know this, but before you move, purge everything. So I went through my entire closet. I literally gave away six bags of clothes to Goodwill. Um, any like decor that I no longer liked. I got rid of hair products, makeup, just like really go through everything because then when you move into a new place, you have only the things that you really like and you don't have to feel cluttered. Okay, so another thing that I recommend doing and was really helpful for me is that I took my hard covered suitcases. I had two of them and they were full to the brim at the time and I stuffed my towels in them and then around my towels, or you could do this with clothes or scarves, jackets or anything like that, I would put fragiles. So I would put things like casserole dishes, I had a ton of candles that I used this for and I would like flip that over and then I would do, I would have something else right here and then flip that over and it kind of just protected them but I didn't have to go and get that like clear, what is that clear poppy stuff called? Or, you know, pay extra money for things that would protect my items because I just use things that I already had. And then it also helped because these are, these suitcases are rollable. So it made it way easier to get things to my actual apartment and saved me a lot of time and energy carrying boxes. So I learned this next moving hack a few years ago and I've used it at every single place that I move into and it makes such a big difference. And that is that the first room that I unpack is the bedroom. Once you get your bed undone and you get your sheets on your bed, it just makes it feel like so much more of a home. And then when it's super late at night and you're still unpacking and you're dead and just wanna go to sleep, you have a nice bed to get into. You can see how I still have not chosen the pillow covers that I want for those pillows. It'll probably be a while. But I did that here and I've done that in my other apartments and it just makes it so much homier and comfy. Okay, the next tip that I have for you is to label, label, label. Labeling can make everything so much more organized. So what I did is that instead of just writing directly on the box, I actually want to reuse these boxes which will lead me into my next time after this. But um, I just got some index cards <laughs> and then I wrote what it was on there and I just taped it with packing tape on it so that I can remove them. So, and I want to actually like deconstruct these boxes because boxes are really, really expensive. And then I'm just gonna leave them in my garage to the next move. But by doing the labels this way, I can just easily remove them. And then, like, I could probably do it right now. I mean, it kind of destroys the box in a way. Oh wait, I didn't wanna do that because I wanted to get a picture. <laughs> okay, anyways, you get the idea. And then, um, don't do what I did. Do not put the label on the top of the box. Put the label on the side of the box because 
dumb me, even though I labeled it, once the boxes are stacked on each other, you can't tell what it was. So always, always, always put the labels on the side of the box and not the top so you know where and what it is. Okay, hitting on that point, I'm going to save those boxes, so I just take those that tape off, and then you can flatten them and put them in your garage. And U-Haul actually has a program where they reuse boxes, so if you're moving, call your U-Haul up or go to U-Haul and see if they have any boxes you can use. Um, these boxes were pretty expensive. I got them from Staples. They're the cheapest I could find. And it was like... $50 for a set of 12 so that just shows you how expensive they are and also on that point these are way too big I should have got a smaller size because every when everything's in it it was just too heavy and so two people would have to carry it and then that's awkward and it just would have been way easier if we got a smaller size so that is what I recommend for the boxes portion <laughs> and what I learned not to do. So this is another tip that has like two tips in one video, and that is to send Amazon boxes directly to your new apartment. I was, this is my first apartment alone, so I had to buy a lot of things, and what I started doing was I just started sending things to this actual apartment, and that way I wouldn't have to put them in boxes or pay for shipping or I guess you would in a way have to pay for shipping but like not pay for movers to move it for you um, and then I just use prime so like for groceries you can prime groceries and get them to your new place and then if you do not have Amazon Prime they offer a seven day free trial so you could use that for the seven days so you could get those perks because it really is nice to be able to like pre-plan your food that you want and then just to press order and for it to show up at your house. You don't have to worry about going to the grocery store um, or anything like that and just for like other home products as well. So that was the main hacks that I personally used. Um, on my website I'll have a lot more of the hacks and honestly I used a lot of those too but I just don't have video proof to show you guys so maybe I should list some of those off because it might actually be helpful um, okay so uh, if you're moving shorter distances you can just take out entire drawers of your dresser which I've done before but this time I got a new dresser so I didn't do that and then you can just leave your clothes in there so that when you get to your new apartment you can simply just put it back in there and your clothes are already folded perfectly and that is really really easy I've done that before and I actually love doing that um, you can pack your socks into your boots and that will help your boots and your other shoes to stay its form and it also gives you a perfect place to put your socks. Um, pack cleaning supplies in its own box, especially if you're moving out of an apartment. If you're moving out of an apartment, you'll probably, the last thing you'll need to do is clean the entire thing. And if you don't have it in its own box, then it will just be a disaster. You'll have no idea where it went. And it's also nice for when you go into a new apartment. Even if they have like cleaning people come clean it before, there's usually something or like during the moving process it gets dirty. So to know where those are can just like make life a lot easier. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. This sticky note hack I thought was really, really smart. And if I had a bigger apartment or home, I would definitely do this. But it's on the walls. Okay, so you get different colored sticky notes. I'll start, I'll explain it easier. So you have the different colored sticky notes and then each room gets a color. So like if I had my bedroom and I had it on a blue sticky note, all of the boxes that were going to my bedroom would have a blue sticky note and then I would tape the blue sticky note to the wall so that the movers or my friends who are helping me or my parents or whoever it is knows that if they're carrying a box with a blue sticky note on it, that needs to go to my bedroom or you know if a kitchen's pink it would work the same exact way and that would be super super helpful I can imagine I did not do that but I should have done that that sounds 
like a very good idea. And then I have done this before, but I bought all new furniture for this place, so I didn't use this this time. But when you take apart furniture, put the screws and bolts in a Ziploc bag and then duct tape it to the back of the furniture. So I did this for my bed when I moved throughout college. When we would take it apart, there's obviously screws holding it together, so I'd get a Ziploc bag, put the screws in there, and then I'd get packing tape, and I would just stick it to the back of the headboard, and that way, when I went back to school after summer was over, we knew exactly where it was because that's really bad if you lose those things and it's super annoying if you lose them. So this way you just always know exactly where it was. So that wraps up my moving hacks. They really did help. Obviously there's a ton on the internet that are just stupid and you read them and you're like, okay, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But these were ones that really made moving super easy and made it easier moving with my family because we all know that can be painful. Um, and it, you know, I would recommend these hacks to anyone. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you check out my other videos if you're moving into a first apartment. I just posted a first apartment checklist video, which has a ton of information about everything that you need to buy for your first apartment. Subscribe to my channel, check out my Instagram, you know the whole shebang. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you in another video.